kind of you. Nico, I've been invited to your cousin's wedding. I didn't think you guys knew each other. Nor did I. He called me up and said that you really liked me and wanted me to be there. Is that true, Nico? I guess it is. I'll see you at the wedding then. Ah, I guess you look okay. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven holes, seven rays. Hey, Joe Phil. What? Hey, pal. What's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call for my big buddy. Call. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous. I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> A friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's the slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. I mean, he's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> it's the boss. Said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Mine on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on. Let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to soon wear whack, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Jeez. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside? Apologies. We sell quality weapons and we know how to use them. My fault. Stay safe. Stay Second Amendment. You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the ducks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the Enceladis have a full down. Then we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. Easy. 
Shit, you sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an actor class. I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Watch it, Nico. All right, this is the truck. be a shitload of coke we're taking. There should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them load it up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't. And I ain't either. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there is some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something can make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. They better not be after me on RICO charges.
we're sure to have the feds on us. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Don't have money. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to...
You handled yourself real good back then. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. for a mafia family. They're scum. Pegorino? Hey, no, no, no. Rosali is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in shock about medical spending. Tell him you were sent by a new tool for He's expected. Hey. Yeah. What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is everything's coming together. Bad news ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Back, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. Me 
and Gracie is waiting for you just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. We're going to... This is as close as I can get. Okay, without further ado, let's do what this show is all about and hit the phone line. Best time to spark these is at some pussy, my dope. I feel you, my dope. Hey, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking love the fuck of you. Gracie? Watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with low lowlifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. I don't know what fucking uses! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. I don't fuck her! Just over there. Subject southbound, uh, southern charge island. 